me, y'all. I mean, either way, you hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video of my Back to School series, Back to School with Cree. And I'm Cree, and you're watching Cree's channel. I'm sorry, I always run into that. Make sure you like the video, um, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram. Everything's going to be down below. Watch my last video where I did a back to school supplies haul and comment down below which notebook was your favorite. So yeah, let's get started. I so boo. First, you gotta figure out where you want your picture. You gotta figure out the exact coordinates and whatnot. I chose bottom right corner. Now you're gonna go in with the Mod Podge. Put it all over the back of your picture with the paintbrush. Now we're just gonna flip it over and stick it on a notebook. Smack that joint a couple times so stick. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that give me some more. Smack that till you get so smack that. I Mod Podge this last year, so I'm just going to do the edges, but if it's a fresh picture, you're going to want to Mod Podge the edges and on top of the picture. Now I'm going to cut off the excess and fold what's left, and then Mod Podge it again, and we done. You better do the same thing we did for the last notebook, just in a different position. Still just gonna lay the edges because I mod podge this last year too. Just gonna lay lay your edges, little girl. Just just lay your edges. And we done with number two. I right, so yeah. Notebook number three. Sorry, Jay-Z, but we finna flaunt these bands real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, first thing you do is take your play money, or real money if you got it like that. I mean, I got it like that, but I don't got it like that. You know what I mean? So you take your money and Mod Podge the back, then place it randomly on the notebook. Don't forget to smack it like Akon told y'all. and put them in awkward spaces and folded the excess down. Now that the whole thing is covered, Mod Podge it all over once again. Now we done and we finna let it dry. So we working with this mini notebook now. So the design I wanted was dollar sign, so I sketched a dollar sign on it on the cardstock and I used that to trace so all my dollar signs look the same. So 
So I decided I wanted them to be green, so I colored them green. I have to color inside the lines because it's faster, and I'm going to cut it out anyway, so what's the point? What's the point? Please, tell me. Tell me. No, please. Really. I want to know. I cut all them joints out, and now I'm positioning them on the notebook, and now we are going to mod podge them and stick them on. And I'm smart. I'm smart because I was being smart and dipped it in the Mod Podge. Now we're just going to Mod Podge all over it. Now for the front, we just about to take this yellow cardstock and Mod Podge the back. Stick it on, cut off the excess, and fold it back. And don't forget to what? That's right. Now I'm about to use my letter stickers. Sticker letters? Letter stickers? And spell out what I want to spell out. And now we finna Mod Podge the stickers so it'll never come off. And now we done with number three. Papa. I'm using two sheets of paper because one is too light and you can see the notebook under it so I'm just going to glue these two sheets together. Now I'm Mod Podge it on like I did the last notebook. Now I'm finna cut off the excess and fold it down. While that's drying, we finna print off some monthly calendars. I chose one with holidays, but you don't have to do what I do. I chose months, September through June. Now we finna just cut the calendars out. Next, I'm finna make a pocket on the back of the cover of the notebook. I'm gonna take my sheet protector and cut it to the size I want. Now we finna hot glue this open side closed. I was struggling and burning my fingers so much, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I'm just cutting off some of the hot glue and making it straight. Making it straight. And I finna hot glue it to the notebook. I just added these stickers in a picture to the front and now the front is done. Moving on to the back, I added the pink paper again, you know. Now I'm taking three different color markers and drawing triangles randomly all of different sizes all over the notebook. You want to overlap some triangles and try not to put the same colors next to each other. Mm -hmm. 
Next, take some color pencils that match the markers and color in the triangles. Obviously, I'm blind because that's definitely not purple. That's definitely magenta. You want to color the triangles in lightly, but color the parts where it overlaps darker with the color that you use second. The spots where there's Mod Podge, it's going to be hard to color, but you got to try your best because we don't go for that soft. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Next, you're going to take your markers and do the same thing, but this time you're not going to color it in. And now we're done with number five. this notebook but you do the same thing as you did the other notebooks i just put two pieces of orange color paper on the notebook before i put the jersey on top scory but i forgot to record it let me know what other back to school videos you guys want to see and make sure you like comment subscribe follow me on all my social media comment down below which notebook was your favorite and we out